Michael Jackson, the singer, was also Michael Jackson, the billion-dollar business. With 61 million album sales to his credit, Jackson lived a lavish lifestyle. But when he died, the king of pop was nearly a half billion dollars in debt. Jackson's troubles are not unlike those of his biggest idol, Elvis Presley, who died with his finances in sad shape as well. Presley's estate, led by ex-wife Priscilla, formed Elvis Presley Enterprises as a vehicle to get out of the red. It then opened Graceland to the public in 1982 and solidified the legal rights to make money on Elvis's name and image. Overall, Elvis as a business does more than $40 million a year. And like Presley, Jackson's estate is seen having strong potential for growth. Over the course of a 40-year career, you know, Michael Jackson built up a big catalog of songs. You know, he owns half of the Beatles catalog. I mean, those are big assets. And there are a lot of people around him. You know, he's got a big family. I mean, I don't know if he left a will. You know, if he did leave a will, that's going to be a terrible, terrible battle without any question. But if he had a will, you know, things might be a little clearer. But whenever there's that much money around, and for all of the talk about how broke Michael Jackson is, there's going to be dollars around. And uh, people are going to want him. The massive crowds in New York and Los Angeles show there is still considerable interest in Jackson. However, only time will tell if the King of Pop can stage one last comeback. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.